Hello and welcome to the second lecture and today we'll be talking about <clears throat> but I mean today we'll be talking about body and consciousness. Now when you read scripture, um the word of God says, and the Lord God made man out of the dust of the earth. Out of the dust of the earth. And scripture says that <clears throat> and when God breathed the breath of life into man, man became a living being. Notice when God breathed the breath of life into man. So when scripture is speaking about man in the first place, it identifies the body, the form of man, which is your body, as man. That body that you have is called man. That body that you have is called man. It is recognized and identified as man. That means when the Bible says that God breathed the breath of life into man and man became a living being, that the body became living, the body is living. And in this specific instance, that this body that is living possesses consciousness and has consciousness. Now, the consciousness that exists in your body and the consciousness that your body has so that it can become a living being, so that it became a living being, making it a living being, is from the consciousness that resides in you, from the consciousness that resides in you, and that consciousness is yourself. It is from your spiritual that is yourself. And this consciousness is transmigrated to the body through and this consciousness is transmigrated to the body through the electromagnetic radiations of consciousness that are consciousness itself through and in the neurological system. So the neurological system is for the transmigration of consciousness and is the flow of consciousness. There is consistently within the uh, there is consistently within the reality of the body in the structure of your being in the inner reality of your body uh, the neurological system there is a consistent flow of consciousness which has which has come from again through the electromagnetic wave radiations of consciousness itself because consciousness the spirit soul that you are is an electromagnetic reality it is an electromagnetic reality that radiates electromagnetic waves and that radiates electromagnetic energy so that electromagnetic energy is the one that is transmigrated to the body and the body becomes a living being so your body is living possesses life and that life that your body possesses is a dimension of your consciousness from your consciousness so the body that you have is a dimension of your consciousness and this consciousness from consciousness therefore the body is consciousness this body that you have is consciousness itself so when scripture speaks and says the following that uh, the two shall become one flesh in essence what it means is that the two shall become one dimension of consciousness one reality of consciousness within the parameter of the body so when i'm speaking about sex sex is encountering and experiencing a consciousness it is testing consciousness it is testing a person's consciousness so when we speak about this test is a reality of consciousness and consciousness we are able to taste because we are conscious and we are able to taste because consciousness has taste in and of itself. So the moment two people are, in contact, are having sex, they are tasting each other. And in this tasting of each other, they are tasting the flavor of the consciousness of the person that they are having intercourse with. And as they do that within the reality of experiencing consciousness, because they have sex, they're literally entering into a person's consciousness, and the other person is entering into the other person's consciousness, which means that they become one body, and that one body is that they become a consciousness, a reality of consciousness from their reality, uh, from their respective realities as consciousness. Now, as that happens and as that comes into manifestation, there is also a transference of consciousness within the reality of one body. Because they become one body, that means that they have become one reality of consciousness. And the portion of each other's consciousness, which has been transferred to uh, each and every, uh, which has been transferred to uh, the two respective parties, must manifest it must manifest as a principle of consciousness which is consciousness itself which has to do with the cosmic principle of manifestation consciousness must manifest so even when we speak about sex and coming together 
and can we speak about the body which is again a reality that carries the probab- the actual potential states which are the probabilities of consciousness when two people come together there is an integration of consciousness and as this integration of consciousness takes place there are certain realities of a person's consciousness that become oppressed by the other person's consciousness according to the principle of oneness because within the reality of consciousness there is a hierarchy of consciousness that is consciousness itself so if two people have slept together the consciousness that is superior will rule over the consciousness that is inferior so that's why you find that there are times where people come together they sleep together they have sex but after they have had sex there is a, there are certain realities that begin to manifest in a person's life find that they be a uh, a person begins to have bad luck a person begins to have certain other troubles it is because the ruling consciousness the consciousness of the person that they slept with begins to dominate them and begins to take reality in them because it has become part and parcel of them and as a reality within the cosmic principle of hierarchy and the cosmic principle of authority which is consciousness itself uh, the the supreme or the ruling consciousness must rule over the lesser consciousness that is a reality that is inescapable that is a reality that takes place and that is a reality that manifests and that is a reality that man, must manifest within the reality of sex which has to do with consciousness integration which also has to do with um the integration of probabilities and the integration of possibilities that's why you find people get into trouble when they have slept with certain people with certain persons and those persons have certain realities within them and those realities they are not conducive for their destiny also it also works for the good as well and there are times where two people come together and as they come together and the portion of consciousness that they have become integrated with and they have formed this one body that the realities of the ruling consciousness begin to speak for this person because within the reality of consciousness integration so it begins to speak for this person and as it begin to speak for this person certain doors and certain dimensions of their life begin to open up simply because of who the person of who they have uh, become one with it is for that reason that god sets marriage aside to for Uh, for the reality as sex, sex aside for the reality of marriage that it should only take place within the parameters of marriage and within that parameter of marriage it is it should also be uh, they should also be a precursor of revelation a precursor of revelation a precursor of understanding and seeing the person within the parameters and the realities of eternity as far as it relates to destiny and as far as it relates to becoming because sex in and of itself is for becoming the body is for becoming coming because sex is a reality that has to do with uh, the physical dimension of consciousness so the integration of consciousness and possibilities within the reality of sex is for becoming sex is for become there is that which you become during the act of sex and there is that which you become after the act of sex because of the following that consciousness must develop and consciousness develops that means that consciousness becomes so whatever you have become as a result of intercourse you continue becoming that very thing so you you find that also within the parameters of uh, within the parameters of consciousness integration and oneness within the parameter of oneness as a result of sex uh, you also find that uh, there is the cosmic principle of increase and in multiplicity that means of, uh, of increase and multiplication that means that if you have slept with someone and the real then there are certain realities that you possess and that person possesses there those realities that already exist in you as a result of now again this integration of consciousness they begin to be quantized that means they begin to be increased they begin to be amplified they begin to be multi- multiplied sex is indeed for increase and in multiplication it is for the increase of the realities of consciousness in consciousness and for the multiplication of the reality of consciousness in consciousness so whoever you sleep with well whoever you sleep with increases the probabilities the actual potential probabilities that are contained within the reality of consciousness that is within the reality of yourself again within the same reality because consciousness is a power consciousness has potency and consciousness is a potency so you find that also uh, there is an increase of power there is an increase of potency there is an increase and an elevation of potency within the reality of oneness because whenever scripture just is the following that when two become one and scripture says that two are better than one because they are stronger 
they're strong. That's why scripture also says that one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase tens of thousands. Why? Because there is that politicization of power, that increase in multiplication of power. When two come together in agreement, when two come together in agreement, that means that when these two people have come together and they've become one, there is an increase of power within the reality and parameter of consciousness itself. So sex is for becoming sex, is for the politicization, or rather the increase in multiplication of the power that resides within consciousness itself. So there are things in you that can also be awakened because men have positive and negative realities. So the negative reality is that a possessed by a person can actually be activated and elevated through the act of intercourse. You can become worse as a result of sex. You can become worse as a result of sex. Sex can make you worse. Why? Because it is the integration of consciousness and the interaction of consciousness with consciousness. And whenever consciousness interacts with consciousness, it is for the amplification of consciousness within its dormant within its dormant and active realities. Notice, within its dormant and active realities, because there are certain inclinations that reside within the reality of consciousness. And these inclinations are, are of two types. There are dormant ones and there are active ones. So when it comes to sex, there is that increase. There is that uh, increase of active, uh, active inclinations. There is that increase. They become loud, they become amplified, and they are working and their authority becomes increased. And now there are these dormant ones. And the dormant realities of consciousness can be activated through sex because sex is what becoming. Meaning that that which exists and is inactive can be made to become active, is made to become active. And as it, it becomes active and it is brought to life, a person begins to operate. So you find that it is not only for becoming, that is for making you into something, but it is also for manifesting who you are and bringing you out according to the reality of what you are. That's so why you find that people will say, oh, that when they got married, this person was like this and this, but when they got in now, that when they were getting married and dating, this person was like this and this, but when they got into marriage, the person changed. Yes, that is true in part, but it is also not true in the other part. Why? Because there are people that the moment they have become married, they manifest who they are. They manifest who they are within the parameter of what they are, uh, and they were pretending but there is also that which they were but is dormant that becomes activated in marriage during intercourse. And as it, and as it becomes activated, it begins to manifest. And people say, you have changed. No, it is not that the person has changed, that the person is being made manifest and is manifesting indeed because sex is for the manifestation of the glory of the body. And remember, we say that the, glory, that the body is also consciousness. So sex is for the manifestation of the glory of consciousness. The body carries certain, uh, the body in and of itself is a gateway to consciousness through the different openings of the body. And when we speak about uh, uh, the female and male gen genitalia, their, their openings. So as a result of entrance into consciousness, there is that manifestation of consciousness from consciousness through consciousness itself. There is that amplification of consciousness. There is that revelation of consciousness through the act, in the act, and from the act, that once the act is over, there are things which have become activated, and there are things which are, have been quantitized and they have been increased. Sex will make you worse or make you better. Sex will make you worse or make you better. And that is true within the parameter of consciousness and the reality of consciousness, because sex is also a manifestation of consciousness itself, and is a manifestation from consciousness within the reality of consciousness in itself, through and in the interaction of the male dimension and the female dimension of consciousness because consciousness is in a state of self is in a state of self uh, intercourse that means the following consciousness is in a state of self knowing of self interaction is in a state where the male and the female become one consistently is in a state where the male and female are actually one so sex becomes a manifestation of the interaction of consciousness in consciousness itself and this takes part within the physicality of consciousness that is the body because the body is a physical structure of consciousness that is consciousness itself as a result of the transmigration of consciousness uh, through the electromagnetic wave radiations that are consciousness itself via V, via V, uh, via the neurological system. And when you speak about the neurological system, I'm also talking about, uh, it has to do with the brain. When you speak about the brain, the brain becomes the controlling, uh, it becomes the 
excuse me, the brain is that place where is that it's the control center of the transmigration of consciousness it is the control center of the transmigration of consciousness in and of itself that's why you see that there are certain realities of consciousness that manifest in the brain such as language and all these other things as well and that's why you see that even when you speak about uh when you speak about sex and the hormone of dopamine and such things as such that have to do with sex and has to do with arousing and so forth all those realities are within the parameter of consciousness it is not that the body is getting aroused. No, it is that consciousness is getting aroused. That consciousness itself is getting aroused within its physicality. There is a physicality of consciousness and the physicality of consciousness is the body. So the body is the physical dimension of consciousness and the body is consciousness itself because every dimension of consciousness is consciousness itself. Now remember, if you have questions, feel free to ask. And I will answer you down there. And if there's need for me to do another teaching, I will do a teaching. And I hope you've been blessed. Remember to check out.